Hi, welcome to another Rusty Mats video. Um, there is absolutely no reason why I'm dressed like this. I just thought I should make the video on the fly because of the fact that um, I was just online um, and having to use Zoom and all that stuff in this whole shutdown scenario, you gotta kinda dress properly. You probably don't wanna see the rest of me. Anyway, that's by the by. Um, the reason why I'm making this video is because somebody's requested that I make a video on how I do tutoring online and um, because I've been making some videos about using my iPad. So I thought I can do a quick ad hoc one. Now, bear in mind, it's not going to be the best, I'm afraid, because I don't have the latest equipment like GoPros like everyone else. As I keep saying in most of my videos, I am just a teacher earning a teacher's salary. I can't afford a GoPro. So I'm just using my phone to film this. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'll also be using my phone um, to film what I'm about to show you. So I'm going to merge out a bit with a bit of a screenshot of what I'm doing um, just to show you how I, how I normally do it. Hopefully you're going to learn something from it. And again, I'll say it now. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody who needs to see it. Next you're going to see is us going to work in my classroom. Right, so before we get started, I'm going to try and see if I can merge the two videos that you can see at the minute. Can't see me, but anyway, that's that's by the by. You don't need to see me. Um, so this is this is not a video comparing different whiteboard apps. I'm just showing you how I do it, what app I use. Okay, so for this one, I use an app called Explain Everything. So this is my Explain Everything app here. Um, and so what I do with this, this is a paid app, by the way, you can get a free version of it, but a free version doesn't give you a lot of functionality. Uh, for example, you can only use one slide. Um, that's the most you can use. You um, you can't um, in, uh, interact with people online or anything like that. So this I had to pay for. It's six pound fifty a month, I think it is, or sixty three odd pound a year if you can afford to pay for the full year. So now I'm going to show you how I use it, how it actually works. So I'll start by creating a new project, and you got all the templates and stuff. Just go for a blank canvas if you don't mind. Um, and what I have here is my screen to get started with. Now on here I've got everything that I need. There's a mic down at the bottom there, and this mic means that I can talk to the person on the other end and I'll show you how we get someone on the other end. But I can talk to the person on the other end. I can also record this session by clicking the record button um, just down there. Everything else on the left hand side is my regular tools. So I can choose the, the thickness of my pen. I can choose whether I want a ruler to get some straight lines or anything like that and do some live demo on the screen. Um, choose your different pen colors. Um, you've got your rubbers you can choose. So I can then just rub out every, anything that I've done there already. Um, this gives you some really nice things. Like, for example, I can draw straight lines, any color and so on, just by clicking that. Or I can do the whole, um, I think it's line to shape stuff like that that goes on there okay so these are some of the things you can do um, if you don't want to show people your dodgy handwriting you can then just type onto the screen where you get a keyboard come up and then you can just type straight onto that um, this helps you to copy something if you want to use something else um, or you want to use the same thing you've done before rather than do it again you can just copy part of it or whatever it is that you need um, using this to get rid of stuff you've done before is really intuitive. Um, and this is the laser pointer. I really do like the laser pointer because I can focus the eyes of my student on the particular thing I want them to see. So as I'm writing on the screen, I can focus their eyes on what I want them to see. One of the other things that beats that this beats anything else with is this option to add whatever you want. I can add, um, I can take a live picture right now. Um, I can also add files and it takes any file you can add on to here and it will find that file wherever you've got it. I can add more places. I can look for those files. And I find that to be pretty much like the best thing ever. Okay, so I can add a file on here and edit on that file directly. Now, bearing in mind everything I'm doing on my screen, the student can see. So I can just click a pen and I can write anywhere. And the student on the other end can write back 
and I can see them answering the question. They can also talk back to me because they've got all the same features that I have got. The best part is they don't need to pay for this app. All they basically need to do is just download the, the app for free. And then when you're ready to teach your lesson, this is where it gets really easy. Because I'm the only person paying for the app, I then have this thing that's called invite someone. And what I do is I click that invite someone and it will generate a unique code. That's the unique code that you can see right there on the screen. Okay, that H, uh, G, D, N and so on. And I just need to send them that code or I can send them this link that's just below the code and they just click on it straight away and it just opens up. Okay, so once I send that link out, it's then really easy for them. They don't have to do anything else. But if I don't send the link, I can send the code and they can type that in. I'll show you where that is now. So I'm just going to back out of this now. Um, I don't want to save any of that. When they log in, well, not log in, when they open the app for the first time, they don't need to create an account. They're going to see this thing that says join with code. And you can see that on your screen now. If they just click join with code, they just need to enter that eight character code that I've just shown you. And once they do that, they're automatically in my classroom. So now I'm going to open one of those that I've been doing. Well, I haven't done anything much with it recently, but um, this one is called um, this is my homeschooling one. Um, so you can see that I've taken screenshots, screenshots of things and so on. So it asked me if I want to mute the microphone. I'll just mute it for this purpose now. And you can see this is basically one that I've just generated today and it's got the code on it. Um, I can then add more pages and I can literally add the work that I want to add on to the page for the students to do. Um, I will probably pull up one that I actually have active now. So this is one that I was just doing today. So just jump into this one. I tend to name it um, just so I don't get lost with it and so on. I just put the, the student's name on it. So I can then add the work on here and then the student just does the work for me when they finish. I oh, not when they finish while they're working, I can see it and then I can go right ahead and mark that work as they are doing it. OK, so this was a question that they got wrong. And I've just put a little triangle. So what she's done is rubbed it out and put the correct answer there. Um, and I would be talking to her while I'm doing this. If I go on to the next page, um, you're going to see, let's just zoom that out. Um, you're going to see that we were doing some work on number bonds today. So this was a primary school student I was working with. OK, so guys, this is how I do my online tuition uh, in terms of if you're going to ask the question of how I get paid. Well, once I've finished doing the tuition and so on, um, the parent would have, would have already gotten my bank details. All you need is um, um, a sort code and account number and your name. And you send that over and they send that money via bank transfer and you don't have to go and actually meet the person. That way you can tutor anyone anywhere in the world if you can manage to get such a big group. Um, you can also tutor more than one person, even though I won't recommend it because there is no way to generate their own page. So like, for example, if I pop back onto this one here, right? So if I'm working with more than one student on this page, I'll just do an, um, an invitation link just to open it online. So let's just start that. Right. So once that comes up, let's give it a minute for it to get going. Right. So once that comes up here, I will see all of my users up here. All right. So all of my users will show up and they're all going to be coming down the end on, on the end here. All of my users. I can then close this up if I want to. However, the problem is when you're teaching, you want all of your students to generate their own work and they can't generate their own work. This is a collaboration page. This is a page where everyone collaborates on the same thing. And so because of the nature of teaching, if you want everyone to collaborate on the same thing, then yeah, you can have as many people as you want in the classroom if that's your subject. But for, with maths, when you're doing on a one-to-one -one basis, the last thing you want is another student in here writing on this work. There's a way around it, 
and that way would be to duplicate the work onto another page so i can make um, i can do my worksheet here so whatever my worksheet is on this page here i can take the same worksheet add a new page and this could be another student's work okay so that student can carry on with that work there and then you can have two people working on two different pages but the other thing is What's going to stop the first student just flicking back and forth to see what other people's answers are? You don't really want that. So that won't work. The other thing as well is you don't know what page a student is on, except they start writing on it. So I could be talking about something on page two. And that student is still on page one doing their own thing. OK, so these are just little like pitfalls that you need to just be aware of when you go on to a new page. It doesn't mean that the other student on the other on the other side of the line is automatically on that page. They need to physically click page two to go on to that separate page. So that's why I wouldn't recommend um, having more than one student on this for a one to one tuition. It's fantastic for group work. It's fantastic. But if you want people to have their own work, then you need to generate more pages and to generate more pages. You know, you can be stretched really thin doing this. So except they do that as an app developer, you know, then then sods law is what I would say for that. Right, guys. So that's the end of that video. I hope that, you know, this was something that you found really useful. If you're in the tuition game, you've got students that you want to tutor and you want to tutor them online, especially in this day and age where you can't actually go to a person's house to do tuition. Um, this might be the way forward. It's really intuitive, this app, explain everything. Um, I don't think it's too expensive, to be honest, uh, because by the time you do your first lesson, you would have made that money back anyway. Um, £6.50 a month, I think, is pretty good for what that app can do. Don't forget the main points that I mentioned in there. So when you, if you're going to go for this app, then these are the things you need to think about, okay? And like I said at the beginning of the video, this is not a video about comparing different apps. It's just the one that I've been using. I've been using this app for many years now, um, and I think it's been absolutely fantastic. So because of that, I haven't looked at anything else. If you've got something else you think I should use, by all means, plunk it down in the comments below. I'll have a look and see what you've been up to. Um, but for now, it's bye from me. Thanks for watching. Thanks for getting to the end of this video. Um, give it a like and please make sure you subscribe and share to share with someone else. All right, that's it for now. Look after yourself.